Yes, sis, I ate what I wanted to eat all week. Now it's time to do the little do and I'm going to smell and taste like pineapples. No, you're not. Your skin might smell good, but down there, it's going to taste probably like copper and zinc. It's not going to taste good for whoever is tasting whatever they need to taste. No. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, but if you're new, I'm Alex. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Turn your post notification bell on. And get this video a thumbs up. So if you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my hygiene routine slash tips on everything you need to know concerning basically hygiene. So I want to start off by saying, no, I'm not a gynecologist. No, I am not a doctor. I'm not any of those things at all. This video is strictly based on personal experience. So you can just take everything I say with a grain of salt and you don't have to use any of the products that I use i'm just giving my experience and i'm just trying to get some tips you know for someone out there who might need them you know what i want you guys to know is this is a judgment free zone i will not judge you i will not make fun of you nothing like that because i mean we could all use some tips from time to time and i know like i said everyone doesn't have someone they feel comfortable sitting down talking with this type of stuff about so just know that here you can be yourself and guess what I will accept you, okay? So I wanna start off first by talking about my little routine, my hygiene routine before I get into every product that I use. So in the morning time, when I first get up, the first thing I like to do is brush my teeth first. I usually use either the Hello brand of the charcoal toothpaste, which I just ran out of. So I just have some regular Colgate toothpaste right now. Nothing special, but I definitely brush my teeth first for at least three to four minutes and I make sure that I brush my tongue because when you don't brush your tongue, that's how your breath ends up stinking. So you wanna make sure that you brush your tongue. And I don't use mouthwash all the time, but when I do use mouthwash, it's the brown Listerine or it's the off-brand version of it, but it's brown that I get from the dollar store. Because let me tell you something, Listerine is so strong. I don't know what's stronger, Listerine or Hennessy because when I mean it burns, it burns. I brush twice a day. I brush in the morning and I brush before I go to bed. Some people brush in between every meal, but I promise you I'm not doing that. I just brush before I go to bed and when I wake up. I've been back and forth between like three to four products. I use this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. And I love this because my skin is like really, really sensitive and my skin will be very red and irritated if I use products that's too harsh. It's very gentle on your skin and I definitely recommend it if you have really dry skin or even eczema, something really mild that won't make your face burn. Or I use this Noxzema Classic Clean Moisturizing Cleansing Cream. This stuff is so damn strong i'm not gonna lie like after you use this you're gonna feel like a whole layer of your face was just stripped off but i really feel like it is good for deep cleansing into those pores getting all of that oil and dirt and debris out your pores so i definitely do recommend this it's not expensive at all i think i got it from the dollar store for like under seven dollars i think it was like five and some change definitely worth it i had this product for like two and a half months now and it's still pretty pretty heavy Still got a generous little amount in there. Next, I use my Pacifica Sea Foam Complete Face Wash. It removes makeup, cleanses, and tones, and it has coconut water and sea algae complex plus powerhouse and XI iodides plus powerhouse and XI plus powerhouse and antioxidants for all skin types and sulfate free. This product is so amazing. I love the Pacifica brand. Pacific is definitely amazing. It's very gentle on the face and it smells so good. I use this even tone cleansing bar. It's a three in one treatment. It came with this, it came with two exfoliating pads, but I lost one. And this is one I use almost daily. I put this on my face using this little pad and I scrub and I exfoliate my skin. I have to exfoliate. I exfoliate every day because my skin is dry and it, it's been having my skin feeling really, really good and it keeps away dark spots. That's why I says it's melanin experts have basically approved this product because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I had some really, really dark scars, only like on my cheeks though. And like when I break out, I always get a scar on my chin. And this product has been working. I've been using it for almost two months now and I definitely would recommend this product. I got it from Ulta, yeah, like last month. When I apply my face products, I just use my hands for the most part. The only time I really use a rag is when I take my makeup off. So that's how I clean, clean my face and brush my teeth. And I'll usually take a, a shower in the morning when I get up, even though I took one the night before. I take my shower and my morning showers aren't that long. They're usually probably like 
15 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. I get in, I do what I need to do, and I get out. I'm gonna get into all the products that Now I, I just wanna start jumping in with my tips and advice and everything you need to know in between. So we're about to go into a new season soon. So it's about to go from being really, really cold. It haven't been that cold lately to getting warm and then it's gonna get hot. So I know when it gets hot, a lot of people, you know, talk about like they are, they experience some smells and you know, some people wanna know how can they fix that. So that's what I'm here for. This is for everyone. This is universal right here. The first tip that you need to do is hydrate, okay? And when I mean hydrate, I mean you need to drink water. Your body is literally 60 to 70% made up of water. So you should be hydrated at all times. When I mean, I don't play about water, this is what I mean. I literally keep these three liter water bottles in my room on top of having cases of water downstairs in the kitchen. I keep these in my room. I just got this water Friday. I'm almost done three liters of water in what, two days. This probably will be gone by Tuesday. I make sure I drink water every day. You don't have to have three liters of water. Really, like, you should be drinking at least two bottles of water a day if you can. So, what is that? Like, 16 ounces of water. It might You might even need more than that, but I know I drink more than 16 ounces of water a day because I know that your like your body really needs that. Trust what I say. Like, you, if you're sitting around drinking a bunch of sodas and juices, you're going to be dehydrated. That is not hydrating your body. Your body literally lives off of water. So you really need to make sure you are hydrated. And when I mean water definitely helps keep away any type of little fishy little smells. That's a key to keeping away those little smells. Next, you want to make sure you're wearing cotton panties. Okay. So I had to adjust really big like two to three years ago. Well, I noticed for myself that my, t my underwear were like... They weren't thongs, but I, I was wearing like um, those Victoria's Secret little panties. And if you got a little butt on you, let me tell you, Victoria's Secret underwear are gonna probably be a little bit too small. Like those little, all that underwear be fitting like cheeksters. You cannot be wearing cheeksters and thongs 24 seven. You have to let your little kitty breathe. You have to give her some room to air out and just live her best life. She can't do that if you're wearing thongs 24 seven. Not to say that you cannot wear thongs, hipsters, whatever but you really want to be wearing cotton underwear a lot and cotton underwear definitely is a way to keep away bv because bv breathes in those tight little drawers that is almost skin tight bv breathes in that okay so that is one of the main key components of keeping bv away is to wear cotton panties and definitely drink a lot of water also i recommend eating yogurt. Yogurt helps keep away like, I want to say yeast infections and BV. Yogurt is really good for you. And I've been eating yogurt a lot for like the last two or three months on top of drinking water. And I just talk about those smells anyway, okay? Because a lot of people just think, oh like, oh I just stink for no reason. Like why am I smelling like that? It's like, do I have an STD? Do I have this? Do I have that? Most of the times it might be BV, which is bacterial vaginosis. You have like your good bacteria and your bad bacteria. I believe BV is like a I want to say like an overgrowth of bacteria or is that a yeast infection? Let me find out. Hey Siri, what is bacteria vaginosis? Okay, yeah, I was right. So it says healthy vaginas come with bacteria in them, but changes in the balance of different kinds of bacteria in your vagina can lead to bacterial vaginosis. What causes bacterial vaginosis? Bacterial vaginosis, usually called BV, is a bacterial infection. It happens when the different kinds of healthy bacteria in your vagina get out of balance and grow too much. Basically, your pH balance is it like gets like kind of messed up. And this can happen from what I was saying, like, you know, wearing underwear that's like either too small or or, or not wearing enough kind of underwears. It can also come from sex. Now, sex and BV is a whole different thing, a whole different type of thing because a lot of times people get BV from their partners and it's because y'all body chemistry doesn't mix well together. I know it sounds a little crazy like what me and my boyfriend or me and my girlfriend or whoever, our bodies are not compatible. Yeah, I really believe your bodies are not compatible if you keep catching BV from your partner. I don't think y'all bodies are compatible. Another way easily to get BV is perfumey soaps. So what you want to avoid at all costs, and I mean at all costs, is using perfumey soaps down there like soaps from Victoria's Secrets, Bath from Body Works. You do not want to use those soaps down there because you'll easily easily get a yeast infection or bb it'll throw your ph balance off like that like that's how quick you will be irritated down there it'll it will be it'll be so irritated so soaps down there that i would recommend is dove unscented or like dial or something like that unscented soap i use irish spring sometimes up here 
and I use Dove. Also up here, I use this exfoliating scrub. It's in the star celestial scrub. I use this like under my underarms and stuff to exfoliate under my underarms. I exfoliate on my arms and legs, but I don't use it down there because it's too perfumey. I would never, this would throw my pH balance off so quick. I probably would be crying because I know that this does not go down there. Anything that smells good, remember, it don't go down there. It cleans itself, really. All you really need is like hot water in the rig, but I'm gonna always use soap down there. But currently I am using this detoxifying charcoal body wash and it says it rescues your skin with the purifying powers of activated charcoal. It remarkably absorbs and removes buildup and impurities while per perfectly, while perfectly pres preserving and enhancing your skin's look and feel. We've also added moisturizing coconut oil to further add in the overall improvement of your skin. And this is by Renpur. Renpur? Renpur. So it looks like this. I know a lot of people use Dove like liquid soap i use that from time to time but lately i've been using this and just a little bit goes a long way i don't use this at the top too i do not use this down there like i say i use specific soaps for down there because soaps be too scented and it will knock your ph balance off so fast and not even funny okay so one thing that i like to use is panty liners so i use either always or i want to say the coltex i can't remember the other brand i really I really can't, but I use always panty liners. I don't use them 100% of the time. I don't use these 100% of the time because I feel like that your little kitty, she needs to breathe. So I wanna say I use these about 70 to 80% of the time, but I'm, when I'm leaving out the house, I'm more than likely gonna put one on. But every it, it needs to breathe. So I don't sleep with them on. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't sleep with these on overnight because I really feel like that she needs some time to breathe. She wanna just be free time to time i like to use the summer's eve island splash freshness spray sometimes after i use the bathroom and i pull my panties back up i like to spray a little bit outside of the panties not even that close really a little healthy little distance and then keep it moving i know some people don't use summer eve i mean you're not supposed to spray this on your bare little kitty you're supposed to spray like kind of more so on your underwears and it says it neutralizes odor absorbs moisture and it says it won't disrupt your ph balance and it's talc free clinically tested and safe since i like the smell of this one i've used this on and off for like the last five years i never knocked my ph balance off now that little wash i wouldn't recommend using that wash down there just because i feel like it can knock your ph balance off and people say that it don't but i would never use that down there not not that little soap they have now also, I like to use the little wipes, the Summer's Ease Sheer Floral Cleansing Wipes. Uh, it says it's clinically tested, safe sense, removes odor, causing bacteria, pH balance, free from dyes and paraben. Now, I've used this in the, in the past, just like the spray for like the last five years. Never knocked my pH balance off. I don't use them all the time. I'm gonna say it's 16 in here. So I like to switch between this, this kind and I like to use the little coconut one too. I don't think it's too strong at all. So let's talk periods because okay this is one of those little topics where it could be like it could be misconstrued like most most girls and like most women get their periods i think i got my period i want to say it 11 or 12 some people get this earlier some people get this later i'm one of those people i'm glad i didn't get mine at like eight years old because i feel like i want to be able to enjoy my childhood periods is very very different you know some people use tampons some people use pads some people use the little cups I personally use pads. Then this is why I per I personally love pads over tampons. Cause at some point I did use tampons. I feel like with pads is more. I know it's gonna sound crazy. But I feel like pads are more convenient than tampons. Okay. For one, pads you could just put on and off. You can you can put them down on your on your panties. You can pull them off and you can just discard them. With tampons, you gotta insert something and you gotta remove it and it's just like so much to me. Okay. So pads have their downsides too, don't get me wrong, because you know, with pads, you have the ones without wings. If you don't get wings, then more than likely, especially if you have a heavy flow, then the blood is gonna be on your underwear. And if you have a real heavy flow, it can possibly get onto your pants. So it's important to know though, when to change your pad. Two to three is the heaviest day for me because one is like kind of starting, but not, it's not like, heavy yet two and three is more so the heavier d so i know in two to three i like to get a thicker pad or i'll just double them up i know pads say that they can last up to eight hours some say they can last up to ten but i promise you i will not keep a pad on that long i like to change my pad like every three to four hours i feel like it's not dry no more and i just feel like it's time to get changed and that's 
especially when I like to use those wipes sometimes, those little uh, summer ease wipes that feel extra fresh because having a period is like so inconvenient, but at the same time it's not, but it's, when you have one, when you don't have a period, you wish you still did because it kind of like regulate your hormones, it regulate your body temperature, all of that. But man, periods, the smell, it just be like, oh my goodness, like how could I even smell like this? It, ugh. But you'd have to know when to change your pet because you don't want to walk around smelling like pennies because it, it stink. Like don't nobody want to smell that. So I definitely recommend that you change your pad before six to eight or 10 hours. Like I said, sit down, keep a pad on for eight to 10 hours. You're gonna probably smell like hot fish cakes. So I would definitely recommend changing your pad, unless you don't have a really, really heavy flow, but even still, I would definitely recommend changing the pad at least at that fourth to fifth hour. I would still do before six hours personally. Okay, cause I literally just like went up my second not that long ago, but I use always pads. These ones say it's good up to nine hours. I did not see that I picked up the one with no wings. When I mean, I was so irritated cause I mean, I was very irritated. It was, how many was in here? I think it was, it's 42, it was 42 in here. I feel like this is a nice little amount and I love the brand always. I think this is like the only brand I really use. Always has been good to me. Always, always has been good to me for many, many years. I've been using always for as long as I had a period. These are the ones I usually use. Um, I think this is like the only one I have left out of this pack. It had wings. How many was in here? 26 was in here. And I also use these always pads. These have wings. This, These ones I use more so on like the fourth day. They stay there for overnight. If I use these overnight, I'll put on two because um, I definitely don't like to wear thin pads in the beginning when I, ha especially if I know I'm having a heavy flow. And these are super thin. That's why I use these going on, I use these more so when I'm like at the end of my period or going towards the end, like the fourth day, like I said. So I got this super big tampon. Oh my goodness, and I'm uncertain. And I'm like, why is this hurting? And they said if it hurt at any point, that's how you know that it's, you know, too big. So I'm like, oh my God, why why does this feel like this? Like it should not be hurting like this. So I could not even really get that tampon up me at once. But I, I finally did end up getting it up a little bit and it was so uncomfortable. I took it out like immediately. I couldn't even get it all the way up. Like it was so uncomfortable and I did not like the feeling at all. It was the weirdest sensation and I was like, no. But I tried again and I tried with one I could fit. And you know, it wasn't that bad inserting it or whatever. The first time inserted it was like, oh, this is different. But you know, after a while, it didn't feel like it was really there anymore. But not only that, I just got tired of like doing it in certain things. Now, this is a way you can keep the smell away because it does have a little fishy odor. Like periods just have like that little, little smell. What I like to do, I take more showers in the day when I know I'm on my cycle. So what I'll do is, I usually just take like two showers a day, one either in the day or in the night or one in the day in the late evening. So what I do is I take like three showers a day when I'm on because I just don't like that smell and I just feel so much fresher when I take more showers. So I'll take a shower like in the morning, the afternoon, and the night, I swear. Or I'll take two showers in the daytime, not necessarily. It could be like two in the morning for real and then one at night. I like to just take like three showers really just so I can make sure that that smell is not gonna be on me. I like to use wipes when I go to the restroom, either summer ease or baby wipes. I like to keep wipes on me and I like to keep little sprays after I use the bathroom just because, you know, even though, you know, it might not smell like nothing after you finish using the bathroom, I just like that period smell was just so strong. That's why I like to keep the little Summer's Eve spray too, just to freshen up a little bit, just to get that little smell away. So I really don't be experiencing, you know, really strong smells with periods because I just like to make sure I'm on top of my hygiene because I know it's really easy for that smell to come about so if you follow some of those little similar tips then it won't be that bad i feel like especially if you stay on top of it of it with changing your pads frequently with the order ring i use this dove advanced care go fresh it's like i want to say melon scented i love everything dove from their soap to their deodorant so this is the deodorant i use and it smells so good it smells so refreshing it reminds me of a um of melon, I mean, it has a melon picture on it, but it's nice and sensitive and it's not too strong for my underarms. Uh, for shaving needs and all of that, I would just use, I really just use regular shaving gel. 
Sometimes I get the ones from Target. Sometimes I get the ones from the dollar store. It's, I like to get the ones that glide across real easy. Now, I don't get, like, I get, I don't get, like, the real, real cheap. I don't get dollar raises because that's how I'll get razor bumps. But I don't really get razor bumps because I, I usually exfoliate first. So, I have this, it's, I think it's a tree tea um exfoliate and body scrub and sometimes i use the dove one and i'll exfoliate first and i and that helps the razor glide across the skin really smooth and it smells so good but you want to make sure when you exfoliate you don't get it like on the lips of your little kitty because again that'll knock off your ph balance but if you do that if you exfoliate first and you shave in gel you shouldn't get razor bumps no i don't get wax i know people say waxing is better for you but i'm i'm i don't know i just haven't got wax yet i'll get the wrong tool one day i just haven't got to it yet as i do all of that and stuff and you know get out the shower i like to lotion up because you know my skin needs to be hydrated so i'm currently using this saint ives hydrate and vitamin e in a car so it smells so good oh my goodness i got it from walmart it smells super good it keeps my skin feeling hydro to keep it feeling all locked in um a lot of people like to use dove i like to use dove too i do use dove as well but this is one the main one that i've been using on my body lately i use this dove eczema release soothing body lotion i use this a lot for my face and hands and my arms and the rest of my body but i use it more so on my face and my hands because my hands is going through really bad you can't even my hands if you can see this is going through super super bad eczema right now so on my hands right now i actually am using back centration and i'm using this eczema lotion i also like to use this brazilian bum bum cream it's a fast absorbent body cream it helps tighten and smooth like no other it's a little small version i'm definitely need to pick some more up but i still have some and it's i use a little bit at a time girl i feel like body butter it smells so good y'all i'm gonna get that big one that's 20 dollars. i got this one in a little christmas set but i've been using it non-stop for like the last two months and a little does go a long way with it like i said it feels like a body cream and it smells so good i don't put this on my face i don't put any perfumey smelling lotion on my face because my face is too sensitive for that like perfume scents you don't want to keep away from sensitive areas if your face is sensitive you don't want to put perfumey lotion on your face. also at nighttime i like to use this avant shea butter rice eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask after i take my makeup off and all of that and i use a rag to get the makeup off while I use makeup wipes i like to apply this and it keeps my face feeling really really hydrated smelling so good also i like to use this sunday riley luna it's a retinol sleeping night oil and it comes with a little dropper i have a lot of this left for it to be so small when i be taking these little drops it's so pretty it's like this blue little liquid blue little liquid oil and i just take a few drops and drop it on my face definitely makes my skin feel so good i usually use this one first and then i use the sleeping mask second and when i mean all of that moisture is getting locked in my face and keeping it nice and hydrated so when i wake up my skin doesn't feel really dry like lately my eczema on my face has been good i haven't had any bad eczema my makeup hasn't been clinging to my spots because guess what all the eczema is on my hands so now i'm working on getting my hands back to normal so that's most of the products I use. I think that's, if not all, are the products I use for my hygiene routine. But I want to throw something else in there because, you know, I, this is like a, a girl talk, you know. So let me tell you something. To, the key to smelling good is eating good. And when I mean eating good, I mean you cannot eat junk food and a bunch of stuff that's very unhealthy for you. And then expect to be smelling like peaches and creams. No, you need to be incorporating fruits and vegetables in your diet. All of that processed food is so not good for you and let me tell you you cannot eat Popeyes every day and to eat one little container of pineapples and think that you're about to taste like pineapples because I promise you that you're not it's this little misconception that if you eat pineapples when it comes time for you to engage in any sexual activity that you're gonna taste like pineapples like yes sis I ate what I wanted to eat all week now it's time to do the little do and I'm gonna smell and taste like pineapples no you're not your skin might smell good, but down there, it's going to taste probably like copper and zinc. It's not going to taste good for whoever is tasting whatever they need to taste. No. You have to incorporate fruits and vegetables into your daily diet to keep those smells away. But the biggest keys here to smelling good are 
make sure you're hydrated with water you have to make sure you drink water you have to make sure you're incorporating fruits and vegetables you have to make sure you're not putting perfumey little soaps and little smells and exfoliating every all of those good smells you need to keep from down there you need to keep even unscented soap down that area it's unscented soap like dial or dove will do make sure you're wearing cotton a lot of cotton underwear so that it can breathe those are some of my main tips that i hope help you guys to keeping it fresh and smelling good all the time of course you know you can wear perfume and stuff you know you spritz a little perfume in the air you little shimmy through your little perfume smell a little good but those are my main tips for smelling good and my hygiene routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was very inf informative and i hope it helped you answer any questions that you might have but if you do have any additional questions make sure you drop them below in the comment section or you can even email me if you feel like it's too personal my email is in my description box i hope that this video really helps anyone out there who might have some questions and tips on how to smell good all the time do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and turn your post notification bell on so you can see every time i post thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye